All right, welcome back. Today we are doing Balconis Single Malt. I've heard good things. Yes, yes, mostly from me, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, here's the thing. Uh, we'll talk American Single Malt. So American Single Malt, uh, the reason it can't be called Scotch is because... It's, it's not in Scotland, not in Scotland. Right. but uh, in a lot of American single malts are being made identical. Hmm. Um, some even using peat. Peat, really? Yeah. Now where, others. Well, where are they getting the peat? Uh, either shipping it in, uh, buying uh, barley that's already peated. Okay. Right. Um, or you have people using the spirit of how whiskey's made in Scotland, which is why did we use peat? We used peat because it was there, and that's what we burn. Yeah. Right. So the spirit of that is, you know, distilleries. Um, oh shoot, what's their name? It's a New Mexico distillery. There's so many good ones, but uh, they're using mesquite, mm -hmm. right? Because that's their local thing they use to burn. Right, mesquite So barbecue. they're using the style of Scottish whiskey making, all right. barley, smoked barley, but they're using the local fire ingredients. That's super cool. Yeah. Um, this is a Texas single malt. Uh, they had an extremely heavily smoked whiskey called Brimstone, and someday we'll try it. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably come back to that one. I really don't like it. Can that be the next As a matter one? of fact, now I'm, I'm going to save this story from when we drink it. Can that be the next one? Uh, because it's a great story. But um, but this, this. So Balconis opened up with uh, Chip Tate. Yeah. Um, one of the earlier, uh, I don't even know if there was another whiskey to story at the time. Hmm. Lack of research. So one comment. of the first. <laughs> Um, brought a shitload of awards to, to whis Texas whiskey. Mm. I mean, just came out of the gates, Chip Tate, as an artist, making amazing things. And still, they're winning things. Now, uh, there was a big blow up. And if you uh, ever read Texas Monthly or you ever are online and read anything about whiskey, yeah. you know about the huge drama that went down with Chip Tate. I'm not going to go into it here. Mm. But it was bad. Mm -hmm. There's a disagreement between investors and Chip. And Chip is an artist. Yeah. Which is really enough said. So let me say, this happened in Texas. Yes. Was there a gun involved? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> there was, I know. There was I a know. gun involved. <laughs> and actually, it was more of a threat of a gun okay. than an actual All gun. Right. All right. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so just, Texas just with let's just say things went a little sideways. The investors bought out Chip Tate, mm -hmm. sort of forcefully. Right. Uh, gave him a non-compete so he couldn't make whiskey for a while. Mm. And then they uh, revamped Balconas and even enlarged it. As a matter of fact, just the last month, they opened a whole new and uh, larger distillery on the same. They just expanded. Hmm. Um, now, I, that worried me, as you can imagine. As right, the been. artist leaves. Yes. But I'm going to say yeah. the new single malt. I have a bottle over here of single malt from when Chip Tate uh, was in charge. The new single malt, just as good... For my personal preferences, mm. better. Mm. Now I hate it. Kills me to say that. Right. It kills me to side on the man. I'm suddenly for, but, very, very curious about. This. But I will say that you know. So like the the, the you can, head, the artist, the head honcho, the main guy, yeah. the brilliance, yeah, the of genius, the whiskey, the genius, the award-winning spirit behind everything happening. Yeah. Poof, he's gone, and then somehow they come back with something that you. Now what believe. I will say is. And in, in, in a lot of businesses, you have this whole fight between artist and the man, yeah. right? And that's sort of what the whole thing boiled down to. Mm -hmm. the, the money men and the artist. Yeah. Um, but the, in, at the end of the day, when you make whiskey, someone is there making decisions with their two hands. And the new master distiller, regardless of where the money is coming from, right. is still an artist. Right. Right, so it's mm. not we we didn't lose the artist for the man. We we lost Chip Tate right. for a new master do distiller. We, do we know who the new guy is? I forgot to look him up. Yeah, my bad. Who is he? I'll put it in so, the comments. So you savor the results of this man's brilliance, and I don't even know his name. You don't know his name? Yeah, I, I feel like I don't think you should be allowed to drink that. I think <laughs> donate <laughs> right here. <laughs> I'm gonna disagree because I really want to drink this whiskey. Mm. Now I would say that this is probably. Top three American single malts, uh, maybe even number one in my opinion. Yeah, I, I don't have an overly sweet smell to this. But there's caramel in there. There's butterscotch, there is, but right? It's not too now, much. Now, here's the thing I always find in American single malts a right. bit of a sour edge to things. And that is nowhere to be found in this whiskey. And right. I don't know what they're doing differently. Right. 
but I could put this in the space side region of Scottish whiskies, and you would have a hard time realizing this was not from Scotland. Let me tell you, the first thing you need to do is learn the man's name. I know. I'm so sorry. Right, and then become <laughs> friends, and then he'll yeah. tell you the secrets. Yeah. <laughs> to how they made this he'll not give you all my proprietary secrets <laughs> for the distillery I'm going to open to no, I'm assuming with it's him. a man. It could be yeah, it is a man. Okay. All right. Well, yeah. at least you know that much. Oh, yeah. No. I just gotta say. There's Texas in there, though. There, I just gotta say. This is the thing that's really, really hard for me to find in whiskey. Something that is not aggressive, it doesn't hurt me, but it's still really complex and interesting. Mm -hmm. right? Because things that are really complicated, they tend to be really just harsh and hard with the flavors. Yeah. Like, really in your face. And like I like interesting thing. stuff. Yeah, like hard day. <laughs> Even whenever it hurts me a bit, I like that more than the really kind of just sweet, neutral, invisible things that you can eat with a burger and whatever. But this, it is very complex. And you don't have to fight it. Yeah. It's, it's not trying to cut you. No, no, no. It's not taking you out to the shed. It's your friend. Yeah. Yeah. It's your well-read. It's your, it's your well-read well -read friend. You're well-read, but slightly gruff. Yes, yeah, so well, it's just Texas. Yeah, yeah. He's probably packing a gun. Mm -hmm. mm. No, don't pour any more. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this just became my bottle. <laughs> no, it just happened. <laughs> oh, that is good stuff yeah. right there. Um, I'm getting all of the butterscotch notes you get in the space side scotch, which is why I'm. I always marvel at this whiskey. That it's the only American single malt that truly reminds me of Scottish whiskey, mm. as opposed to being a variation on the theme. Yeah. Like this, I could put in Scotland as a Highland whiskey. If you told me that was a Highland whiskey, I would be pretty sure you were right. Mm. Now, there is a little bit of a tang in the middle of there. You notice that? We are drinking. In between the sweet Brick. butterscotch and the smoky back edge, mm -hmm. there's like a little... A little bit of a right. tang on the tongue. Right, so I'm going to ask word. you, and I don't want you to go on a, like a 10 minute rant, <laughs> as you tend to do. Uh, how well you But know in terms me. of how these people, like the back of the bottle explanation, the mm -hmm. tasting notes, I mean, how are they doing? Because the, the whiskey itself is fantastic. Is this, uh, do they have it going on? Is their message on point? Is it something where they're just talking out of their ass and trying to sound like everybody else? You're reading this for the first time, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't, you, you can't rant. Uh, no, I don't have a rant. All right, good. Uh, what I think is it started with a non-statement and ended with a non-statement, uh. but in the middle you had some decent tasting notes. Okay. That's what I think. Okay. When you say things, when you use words like a timeless style of malt whiskey, the Balconis breathes new life into centuries of distilling. Yeah. You, li you just said absolutely nothing. I should have said dolphin smooth. Yeah, that's marketing copy that makes the brand owner feel and good. And you're out of time. No more. That's it. That's all. That was the end of my rant. <laughs> all right. It's all the right. kind of copy that gets the person the job right. because the brand goes, oh, that makes me sound great. Right. But as far as the consumer is concerned, it means absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. mm. But still a kick-ass whiskey. Balcona Single Malt. Cheers to you. And our name, our nameless friend. <laughs> You're horrible. <laughs> I'm so sorry. And I'm from Waco. Here's the thing. If this disappears, I'm not saying I did it. Yeah. <laughs> but I may have known the person that did it. Yeah, and yeah. I, I'm pretty damn sure I know It's like it. when you write in and say, I, I have a question for a friend. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, to you, may your crazy stay this side of legal, and may you return to us before we have time to miss you. Cheers. Cheers.